Hey, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change out your drivetrain oil on your Yamaha Rhino 660 and 450. When it comes to maintenance, most people know the importance of changing out their engine oil periodically, but something that often gets overlooked on these side-by-sides is getting that drivetrain oil changed out. In other words, the fluid that's in the differentials. Now, it's really important to stay up on those maintenance intervals because that oil does break down as well. So to help prevent issues, you wanna make sure you have fresh stuff in there. So for the 660s and the Rhino 450s, that maintenance interval is gonna be at 300 hours, 3,000 miles, or every 12 months, whichever comes first. The 700 is a slightly different process, but if you have your specs, then this video should help you out. Whatever machine you're working on, make sure you refer to your model specific service manual for more information and specs. To do this job, we're gonna use our Tusk drivetrain oil change kit that comes with your choice of oil and the crush washers necessary to do the job. We're also using some contact cleaner. We have safety glasses, rubber gloves, some common hand tools, including a five millimeter Allen, eight, 12, 14, and 21 millimeter sockets. And of course you need a funnel to do this. So we're using this funnel with a super long hose on it. This is available on the website, along with some of this other stuff. We're using a ratio right to make sure we measure out the oil quantity correctly and a drain pan. All right, we're at the front of the machine. We're gonna start with the front differential and our drain plug and the fill plug are gonna be on the passenger side on this. Now, you don't have to remove the skid plate, but for us to better show the process, we're gonna start out by removing the skid plate. So as you can see, the front section of that skid plate is pretty small, super easy to take off, and it is gonna make the job easier. Now, another thing we did to make the job easier is support our vehicle on some ramps. If you do raise your vehicle off the ground, just make sure you do it in a secure and safe way. From here, all we need to do is clean off our drain plugs, and then we're gonna remove the fill plug first, and then the drain plug. If you have a Rhino 700, the drain plug will be right on the bottom facing the ground. Make sure you have your drain pan in place and then we're going to clean around this drain plug on the bottom and we're going to use our 5 millimeter Allen socket to remove it. While that oil is draining, I'm going to remove the old crush washers from our filler plug and the drain plug. And I'm going to clean them off and install the new crush washers. Now, if your crush washer is stuck on there, you can't get it off, you might have to use some side cutters to cut it off. Now we're gonna wipe off our sealing surface and reinstall the drain plug. And we're gonna to torque this drain bolt to 7.2 foot pounds. Now we're gonna add 320 cc's to our ratio right. That's for the 660. The 700 will only take 180 cc's. Now we're gonna take the funnel with the super long hose and install that to the filler window and fill the differential with the oil. Now we're gonna make sure that sealing surface is clean and install that filler bolt. And the torque spec on this, if you need it, is 17 foot pounds. Now for the rear final drive, it's gonna be a real similar procedure. Spray that fill bolt off and then we'll remove it. So this is gonna be a 14 millimeter socket. For the rear drain bolt, we're gonna reach up through our skid and use our 12 millimeter socket to remove it. Now I'm gonna remove the old crush washer off the drain bolt, clean it up, install the new one. And then for that filler bolt, we're just gonna wipe it down and if that O-ring is in bad condition, you wanna get it replaced. 
Now we're gonna clean the ceiling surface for our drain bolt and tighten that down to 14 foot-pounds. Now for the final drive, we're gonna add 250 cc's of oil to the ratio right and then pour that in. So even though the level in the funnel went down, again, this is a super long hose and with how thick the oil is, you wanna give it a second to let it drain all the way in there. Now we can install the oil filler cap and this is gonna to get torqued to 17 foot pounds. That's it for the drivetrain oil change on the Rhino 660s and 450s. Preventative maintenance is always the best maintenance. It's gonna help save you some headache down the road. And if you need this Tusk drivetrain oil change kit that we use today, it's available on our website along with a lot of different maintenance items for your machine. So be sure to check that out. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of different videos on these 660s. Thanks for watching.